Hey everyone, this is Lexi, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how you can add banners to your WordPress blog. It's a very simple process, and it's, you know, something, if you want to, you know, you're putting banners on your blog because you want people to click on them, right? Images that they can click on that will take them to, you know, whatever it is that you're uh, promoting or selling or if you have different products out there alright so that's why you want to put banners on your WordPress blog and it's very easy to do so let me just uh, give you a quick tutorial on a few different ways that I do it so sometimes guys if you're like in a different in a business or you work with a different company they already have pre-made banners and they actually have the HTML that goes along with it so that is an awesome thing and you can just copy and paste so I'll just show that real quick okay so first I want to go get the HTML so I'm gonna go to my company right and I'm gonna find a banner this is the banner that I like so I want to copy this HTML and I'm gonna go over to my WordPress blog here and I'm gonna go this is my back office and I'm gonna go under appearance to widgets Actually, I'm already here, okay? So you're going to Appearance, and you're going to click on Widgets, and I'll bring you to here. Next, what I want to do is I want to put uh, a text field over here somewhere. Um, so I'm going to go over, find the text here, and I'm going to put it actually above Categories. Well, actually, that didn't go above categories. I want to put it right here above categories. Okay. And I'm going to open it up and all I have to do is right click, paste, boom, there's my HTML. Um, and you, if you want to change where it goes to, all you do is you change the URL that's inside the parentheses on the first on the first um, HTML. So after the ahref, you want to change this inside the parentheses. So I want to change it to my um, capture page. So that's it. That's all I had to do. And then I'll save it. And then I'll go check to see if it's on my website. I'm going to close some stuff here so my computer doesn't run so slow. Alright, so I'm here. Let me check and go down and see if it came out. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. So here it is on my website and it's clickable. It goes to my website. Cool. We're done with that. So if you already have a pre-made HTML, that's how you do it. If you don't have a pre-made HTML, um, you want to go back to your dashboard. And I'll show you an easy way to do it. You don't have to. Um, some people think you may have to use, like, uh, what is that? Where, a place where you upload photos. Um, gosh, I can't even think of a name right now. But... You don't. You can actually upload your photos here. Okay, so you can go to media and you can add a new photo on your media. So I just uploaded. I'm not going to go through showing you how to upload. Um, but you would add new and you know you pick a file from your computer and upload it here. So I just uploaded this one. Here's another file. And once you're done uploading, you can come here and look at your media. You click, add, click on it. And you're going to get... Um, the URL for your image. So you come here and you copy this URL. Copy. Then what you do is, you know, I already have, I already have um, a sticky note here. So I'm going to put that URL there. All right. Now, what I'm also going to do is go back and get this URL, and I want you guys to pay close attention to this because um, let me add another one here. So, here's this URL. I want you guys to stop right now and copy this down. You need this. 
so you can pause the video or whatever so you have the HTML you need the HTML okay now that you have the HTML what you're going to do is you want to get this URL that is the URL for um, where your image is copy it then you're gonna go over here and you're gonna change this image URL so and you do everything in between the parentheses okay so here's a parenthesis here's a parenthesis and you paste your new URL okay also like I said you can change this URL make sure you also stay within the parentheses and you can change that to your capture page or wherever you want your um, people to go to when they click on the image okay if I can type today <laughs> All right, so now we're all done with our HTML. We have our image, so we're just gonna copy this HTML. We're gonna go back to Appearance Widgets, and we're going to add that banner to our website. So we're gonna go down here and get the text box again, put it wherever we want it on that sidebar, Say we want to put it down underneath the post this time. And we'll just paste it here and save. So now we can go back and look at our website. And we should see this banner on our right side column. Go down a bit. And there it is underneath where we put it under the recent posts. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, this is definitely an easy, simple way to use your WordPress and to add your banner to it. Thanks for watching.